Okay, yes, uh, this uh, first half, I mean, we've had the impact of a lower copper price and, and in a business which is cyclical, then we are uh, used to some extent to see these fluctuations when copper price changes in, in earnings. That's one key factor. Uh, the other one is that we've had drought in Chile for a prolonged period of time, and that has impacted one of our uh, operations, Los Pelambres, uh, which has been restricted in terms of water supply. But the good news on this front is that we have a long-term solution. We're actually finishing the construction of a desalination plant at Pelambres, which will release this restriction uh, from, uh, from you know, the, the, first, uh, the first part of, of next year and, and by the end of this year. So the earnings uh, uh, um, performance is largely related to, uh, to, those, uh, to those key factors, the copper price performance, and also the fact that we were running Pelambres with some restrictions in throughput, which are now being released. We've had good uh, you know, rainfall now. We've got the desalination plant coming on board in the second half. So we expect that the second half uh, will see an increase in production quarter on quarter. Mm, uh, certainly the Chilean drought is something that has been on investors' minds. But the other thing you mentioned is the price of copper. How do you see the price evolving from here? And certainly we have seen a drop over the last couple of months or so. W what is your outlook for the rest of the year? I think the, the outlook for us is that we'll probably see uh, copper prices uh, trade at similar levels at which we see today. Uh, the, I mean, what we're seeing is that the stocks, you know, of copper, inventories of copper remain uh, low. We're seeing some recovery in demand in, in China. On the other hand, supply through mine production is being generally downgraded. Miners, you know, are having some difficulties in uh, meeting, you know, their expectations or projections in terms of production uh, this year for several reasons. And therefore, on the back of that, we expect that uh, prices will remain probably for the balance of the year around the levels that we see trading today. Again, the good news is that copper is a, is a critical metal for the energy transition. And what we're seeing going forward is that there is shortage of supply. I mean, you know, the world needs more copper to be able to address uh, the energy transition and achieve the targets on, on neutrality that have been set. And, and we know that it's difficult to get copper uh, off the ground in terms of you know, new projects. There are not many uh, grades decline. And therefore, the fundamentals of copper, because of the key role that it plays in energy transition, and especially in electromobility, is very strong and very robust midterm. So that's good news for copper.